Wednesday the 16th of April looking at a daily chart of the e-mini S&P it's been a very volatile week uh, the 100 day moving average has sort of been the pivot 1825 we uh, held just above that then we broke uh, yesterday we managed to hold just above the previous lows at we bottomed at 1809, shot straight back up through the 100 day moving average and the previous day's high at 1828 and um, we've taken off ever since then so pattern wise it's really very hard to see what's going on um, we're kind of starting into a downtrend uh, but we have got uh, an oversold stochastic here which is turning positive so mm, mixed signals short term we are getting very overbought now after this very very sharp rally after the very very sharp fall um, how can we try and make some sense of this? Well, we've retraced 50% of the um, of the recent losses from from the from the peak in April, so that should be strong resistance, especially as we're getting overbought. We've got a little bit of trend line resistance here as well. If I just scrunch this up a little bit, just short term trend line, um, and some moving average resistance in the low 50s as well. So that whole 1848, 1852 area, I think there's a good chance we can top out here, start to head lower again. Obviously, there's a lot of um, geopolitical stuff going on so it, it does really depend on that and earnings uh, we're being pushed around by these kind of things anyway if we do top out around the 50, 1850 area we should uh, sink down to the 1838 level below here you can see we've got a bit of trend line support at 1827 uh, 1825 is fib support that also ties in with the 100 day moving average so below the 1838 1837 area we're looking at the mid 1820s and uh, maybe we should find some very good support around there otherwise you can see we've got some lows here around the 1809 1808 area and then the weekly low 1803 um, if we start pushing up into higher territory well we've got 61.8 Fibonacci resistance at 1858 1859 that should be strong that could well hold a rally if we manage to get that far considering that we are so overbought but if we start getting through this uh, we're going to be heading to these highs here up at 1867, 1868 I think those are the major levels that we need to look for today